Okay, this is a Red Sea Reefer 250. It's been up for about eight or nine weeks, and a lot of the uh, like the LPSs were transferred over from a smaller tank. So I just wanted to give you a, a tour of uh, basically the hardware that I have on this tank. We'll start with the lights. Those are two Hydra 26 HDs, about nine inches off the water. You're looking at them turned on full now, so you can see they're pretty bright. And I'm hoping they'll be enough to support the SPSs that I planted all along mid to the upper section of the tank. And at the bottom, we have LPSs. And then we do have some Monty caps here over to the left hand side. Basically all the electricity, I call this my control panel, uh, is run on the outside of the cabinet. So there is the controllers for the DC pumps. One of them is this brand new uh, Gyra from IceCap. That's called the Gyra 3K. And this white controller um, is for the DC, the Coral View. DC pump and then these two control these boxes you see with the lights those are just um, American DJ little mini racks I guess you call them they're very inexpensive you can get them on Amazon okay inside the sump uh, that's a bulk reef supply um, media reactor I have the GFO and the carbon running together in there, I replace it once a month. Very little GFO I put in there, maybe six, six teaspoons, and I put about 12 tablespoons of their, their carbon in there. Keeps my, my phosphates about 0 0.02, 0 0.03. My nitrates luckily have been at zero lately, which is phenomenal, because usually my nitrates are high. There is my Red Sea, not my Red Sea, that's my Reef Octopus 110 Classic SS Skimmer. Um, it was on my older tank. I had a 40 gallon Red Sea reefer. Um, and it's doing the job pretty good so far. I don't know if I'm going to need a bigger one later on or not. Maybe the, the, the 150 model. But it's very quiet. I'm very happy with it. Very easy to adjust. And then here um, is a refugium. I didn't build this refugium. I bought this tank used from a fellow reefer. And he had already. Uh, plumb this as a refugium and, and this is the ATO oh there's my there's my dosing pumps there it goes look at that dosing the calcium right in there we'll get to that in a minute anyway so the, the fellow reefer took this ATO and he, he, he made it into a refugium by plumbing it I can do a separate video on that if you guys want to look at that but basically I have the return from the bulk reef skimmer, bulk reef supply um, media reactor going into these, this um, refugium and then out via that big long tube, not the red tube, but the other tube next to it's going into the sump. So I don't know if it's exactly the best thing to do, but so far everything's working great. And it's lit by this little $10 or $20 light uh, from Amazon that makes this red, red light. So so it's doing pretty well. It's not dying, the uh, the Kato. I wouldn't say it's growing real fast, but this is the new thing that I added. This is a GHL, not a GHL, this is a doser from, um, it's brand new, it's Kimura X4 Wi-Fi. Sorry that I keep getting these these names messed up. I, I just do so much researching on the internet, I can get confused with all different models. But this is um, a Kimura, but the I believe Kimura was bought by Coral View, and they came out with this new model, and they actually lowered the price on it from their regular Kimura, and it, I work it via my cell phone, so I said, wow, this is, a, this is a great thing. Before that, I just had some single dose pumps, and they were okay, but this makes for a cleaner installation. I, I just hooked it up so the wires are kind of messy. And then here is my ATO, which is a five gallon ATO. And then for now, I just have these gallon jugs, and I'm dosing calcium, magnesium, 
and alkalinity. So that's my sump. Close it up. Let you see the tank one last time. And uh, that's my setup.